Uh, hello, Kaveh. Well, as you just um, know and also you can see around me there are protesters, but this time uh, the members of the Jewish community are out in the streets and are gathered in front of the United Nations Mission Taiwan to protest Israel's attacks on the people of Gaza. They are here to voice their sympathy, but most of these people, as you can see around me, are children. The Jewish children uh, from schools who have come here to voice sympathy with the Palestinian children who are living in subhuman conditions in besieged Gaza. Uh, also, as you can see, also I don't know if the uh, pictures can show or not, they're holding up placar placards uh, reading uh, no war or let's pray for uh, peace in the Middle East and uh, something like this. But all they have one message to the world, that all these atrocities should come to an end. Uh, a few minutes ago, I was talking to a number of these people. Uh, aside from these children, there are also other members of uh, the Jewish community of Iran who told me that they are here to, uh, first of all, clarify that there is a big difference between uh, Judaism and Zionism. They believe that uh, Zionism is a political ideology and has nothing to do with uh, Judaism and whatever is uh, happening in besieged Gaza, Israel is doing in Gaza, has nothing to do with Judaism. And also they are stressing that the uh, Palestine issue is not a Muslim and non-Muslim issue. And this is actually an international issue or a humanitarian uh, thing that needs to be addressed by the international community. And all the people are here uh, to voice support and solidarity with the Palestinian people. Uh, there are 25, almost 25,000 Jews living in Iran. Uh, this is the largest uh, Jewish population in the Middle East uh, after Israel. Now. Uh, to seize the moment, uh, I would like to talk to the, uh, Mr. Morsadeh, who is the member of the Iranian parliament. He is the Jewish member of the Iranian parliament. Mr. Morsadeh, could you please... Hello, sir. Thank you very much indeed for talking to Press TV. Could you please uh, tell us about your presence here, first of all, and say that what is your feeling as the Jewish member of the parliament about the atrocities going on in occupied Palestine, in particular besieged Gaza? We are here to protest against the behavior of the Zionistic regime and Israel, against the innocent people of Palestine. Especially, we are here to protest against the behavior of the Zionistic regime and Israel army, against the innocent children and women in Gaza. And we are here to say that Judaism and Zionism are two distinct separate entities, and they are not related to each other. And we are telling here that the behavior of Israel uh, government and Israel army at this uh, time is against the teachings of the Muses and the thoughts of the Jewish people in the world. So we say that the, all of the people in the world, especially UN and other international national organizations, must do their best to give the end of pressure on the Israel and, uh, his, uh, and its supporters to stop the crimes in Gaza. Uh, just before having this live contact, I learned that you also read the statement of this uh, protest gathering, actually. What was the main point stipulated in this uh, st statement? Uh, we said that the uh, war and all of the conflicts in the world must have a peaceful way, and war and killing innocent uh, children, innocent people in Gaza cannot reach us to their peace. So all of the people in the world must uh, do uh, their best together to uh, pressurize Israel regime to uh, stopping the killing in Gaza. Now, uh, why do you think the United, the United Nations in particular actually and also the international community has remained largely uh, silent toward the ongoing atrocities there? Unfortunately, it's not the first time that the international organization uh, became silenced against the killings and against the uh, problems in the world. And we think that, uh, unfortunately, most of the international organizations uh, use uh, the human behavior and human laws only as a political uh, pressure to use it. And uh, unfortunately, have double standard according to do their uh, works, and they must do their works, and they must break their silence and do their best to pressurize the Israel regime and Israel army to solve this uh, problem. And we are again emphasis the job of all of the uh, people in the world is to pressurize Israel to stop the crime. And now the final question is about uh, you as a Jewish Iranian actually, as a Iranian Jew. What is your message to the world people? My message to the, all of the Jews in the world especially, and all of the uh, people in the world who likes humanity and who are, uh, who thinks that they are responsible for human rights, do their best to stop these crimes and do their best to pressurize the Israel and USA to stop the crime against the innocent children and women in Gaza.
Thank you, Mr. Morsovic, the Jewish member of the parliament. Thanks for talking to Press TV. Now I back to Kaveh for any other question. Well, thank you. There are some Uncle Jury there in the capital, Tehran, uh, in which there's a rally that was held. We appreciate that. We're going to go over now.